Hello, this is Philip Nichols, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about and comparing God of the Gaps versus Time of the Gaps. God of the Gaps is something that atheists like to bring up all the time in conversations versus uh, creationists. It is basically taking a gap in scientific knowledge and sticking God in that gap. So, for an example, People a long time ago used to believe that the clouds in a thunderstorm when lightning was flashing, that was a battle between gods. Obviously, we know that not to be true, and that might be more like gods of the gaps. Another example might be uh, you believe that since the earth is spinning around, that since God has the power to do it, he might be spinning it with his hand right now and all the other planets as well. And just because you don't know what is spinning the earth, you think it is God and consider it proof that God exists. Now, Time of the Gaps is a very similar, actually pretty much the same exact thing as God of the Gaps, only instead of God, it is time. So you got a gap in scientific knowledge and you stick time right in there. An example might be that dinosaurs descended into birds such as a chicken. And the only evidence that they have that this took place is that a chicken shares some characteristics with a T-Rex or another theropod. So some scientists have discussed this and consider it a relative without any observable method or example of something mutating itself into something completely different. So without any observable proof, they jump to put time in that spot. Another example might be a canyon that someone might run into that has a river flowing through it and they might be like, wow, that canyon is very old because that river would take a long time to carve through that. But no, because every observable canyon that we have seen form has formed quickly. So no, they don't know for sure that that river did make that canyon. Now, things like God spinning the earth or a canyon being formed by a river, maybe those things are happening, but we do not have evidence for it. That's when you stick time or God in that position to prove it for you, essentially. So God of the gaps is an interesting thing for a Christian to think about because we believe that God created the earth and the universe and everything in it. And we believe that Jesus rose from the dead. And those are things that we cannot just say, hey, I prove this. We look at things around, like history and nature around us, to put faith in those things that we did not see. And yes, an atheist would do the same thing with their belief in a big bang. For example, they look at nature and things along those lines to give them faith in this belief that they did not see. So if God of the gaps and time of the gaps includes creation and Jesus being raised from the dead, then of course, yeah, I guess I do believe in God of the gaps in some areas. But no, here's, here's what Christians, I believe, should think about God of the gaps. God tells us where he acts. And if we believe those things, like when Jonah was swallowed by a, a big fish and what survived after three days of being in it, those type of things where God says he was involved, those things we believe in. But believing something like God is spinning the earth with his hands this very moment and teaching it to everybody as fact and as proof that God exists is a shaky, shaky thing. I hope everybody enjoyed this video and in the comments, I can clarify things if I need to. But until my next video, I will see you guys.